and we are the Rick Katoons. Welcome back to our channel. Apologies for all the toes you're going to see in this video. <laughs> Ew! Free feet, free toes. So as you guys may have seen on our social media, I have hurt my ankle and a lot of you guys have been asking how it happened and how I'm going now. So this will be like a vlog style video because Sam has been documenting nearly every day since it happened and taking me with her to all her appointments. Guys, this is so weird because this is my first injury ever, which is amazing that I've gone this far without like literally any major injury. Compared to Tegan, a few injuries along the way, you've had like surgeries, but you got it out of the way quite early. I decided to wait a little bit longer and to do it in front of an audience. <laughs> We actually have a video of it happening, which is kind of cool for you guys. You can see how it happened. If you want to watch it, you don't have to. You can skip past it if it freaks you out. It all started on the evening of the 25th of November, 2023. Showcase day. We had stage rehearsals in the morning. Then Tegan and I went back to the hotel to do our hair and makeup and headed back to the auditorium to prepare for the evening show. It was all going well until the acro item. It literally was the first move that Tegan and I did. The routine opens with three people standing on people's shoulders. Sam was on mine. Dramatic music. Yeah. And then I grabbed Tegan's hands and front flip like normal. But when I landed, as soon as my foot hit the ground, well, I was like, that did not feel good. Something's really wrong. This is what the trick is actually meant to look like. It just felt really surreal. It felt like, yeah, I was in like a bad dream. I feel like I almost forgot that we we're on stage. I didn't realize that you'd hurt yourself yeah. straight away. So I was like, oh my gosh, like we just failed, but it's okay. Like we'll get up and just move on to yeah. the next thing. And then I noticed that Sam wasn't like getting up. Usually if something happens, we'll just get up, present, move on. <laughs> I didn't care that I was on stage. I was just like, oh my gosh. I can actually see the video. You're starting to come on. Then you're like, wait, I have to go. Wait. For. I can't let the team down. Yeah. I have to keep going. I'll tend to her after. The show must go on. And then the whole time, I was like, oh. number one, what just happened? Number two, is Sam okay? Acros are already stressful. And then that happened at the beginning of the routine. So you had to have that in your mind the whole time. My body was just doing the performance. My what mind was, was like elsewhere. I was just so upset that I couldn't do it because the performing part is the best part. So in all all those rehearsals just imagine if I knew oh this is all the weights so you're not actually gonna perform sad times so we were like do we go to the hospital now I had my ankle strapped I was icing it in the night and elevating it so I was doing all the right things and then yeah first thing in the morning we went to emergency and that's where the vlogging begins I guess it's funny because we were kind of hoping that um, Sam would wake up the next morning and be, and it would be like oh it's fine but it wasn't I literally was crawling around in the hotel room yeah, Everywhere because, I had to hop because I didn't have crutches yeah. or a wheelchair. I was literally just like hopping the entire way to the emergency. And I had to like lean on poles. You'll see in the video, I'm like leaning, waiting, and I'll hop again. There's a knack to it, Sam. Yep. You're getting it. Today has been a roller coaster of emotions. I've been crying. Ah, I'm already crying. This was my setup for how I slept every single night. I literally slept with my foot elevated, just to give it the best chance for my foot not to be so swollen. This is me trying to work out how this sexy moon wood works. Don't worry, I soon got the hang of it. I was getting my foot out ready to ice and elevate it. And Charlie's there. And everywhere we went, I literally did it in the car as well. Okay, it's currently day two. Living this reality. Ooh, what is this? Excuse me. Day two of the moon boot and crutches situation. Um, update of how it's feeling. My ankle feels weird and like vulnerable. It's weird when you have an injury, like it's the last thing you think of when you go to bed and it's the first thing you think about because it's just so new and it feels weird and you can feel it. Like I can feel my ankle feels very 
like odd and not normal. It's weird. I've been told to ice my ankle every two to three hours for like 20 to 30 minutes. So I've been doing that all day yesterday, all day today. And I've also done some red light therapy on it as well. Cause that's apparently like a cheat code for like healing things. So that's the first time I've tried red light therapy. We have one like for your face, but I've never used it. So I thought I would use it on my injury. But yeah, I'm depressed. Everything's so much harder, even just to go and get my phone or go and get my laptop. I can't do that. Like you take for granted every day what's so easy. But I've known you too long It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts Hey guys, we are currently on our way to the airport because we are picking up Dan and Joe who have just arrived in Perth, Western Australia. Which is where we live. Yes, if you're new here, that's where we live. No one ever comes to Perth, literally no one. <laughs> so for them to come to Perth, it's really exciting. As you know, I have broken the no. <laughs> Um, Yeah, I'm a little crippled right now, so sad times. Sad times that they're coming in this week because I literally did my ankle on the weekend. Yep. So it's very so fragile. It's very fresh. all new to us. And like we had so much planned, but you know what guys, we are going to make the most of it and we're not going to let that get us down. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> Thanks for getting my stuff. So we're trekking it down to the beach to watch the sunset. We're literally just in time. Me and Tegan have secured the fish and chips. We certainly have. Oh, uh, Joel's got them actually. <laughs> I keep forgetting Sam's a cripple. We're only a weekend. I'm still not used to it. We're getting there. Thanks, Joel. Look at that sunset. Update, it's day four and it still sucks. <laughs> a lot of people in the world are way worse off than me. So I have to try and practice gratitude. Snap out of it! I actually didn't realize how hard this would be. Literally have to rely on Tegan and mum, so thank goodness they are great. Imagine if I was by myself, it would be so, so hard. I feel like I'm very highly sensitive at the moment. Me trying not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> this bad boy can go home. So today it's been exactly a week. It felt honestly like the longest week ever. But now that it's been a week, I'm like, yes, it's been a week. And today I finally felt like I could move my foot a little bit more, which is awesome. Like now I feel like, okay, cool. I'm gonna recover and I'm gonna, it's gonna heal well. At the start of the week, I was like, oh my gosh, this feels like it's never gonna be the same again. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I didn't cry today, which is great. <laughs> didn't have a meltdown. <laughs> What are you doing here, Sam? I'm here for my appointment. <laughs> Just had another x-ray to see, I guess, if it's improved. In a week? Yep. I'm hoping they say, yep, take the boot off, you can walk on it. <laughs> and go home and live your best life. Do a couple of flips, a couple of back handsprings. <laughs> I tried to explain to Sam what it was. Yeah, Tegan told me there was lots of sounds, like loud sounds. So I was prepared for that, which is good. Mine was only 15 minutes, so lucky, because some can be longer. But yeah, it was okay. So if you're having an MRI, don't stress, you'll be fine. I reckon Sam got some good news today, even though she might not think so, because it's hard, I know, when it's you and it can be overwhelming. But when she explained it to me, what went on, I actually thought it was like, that's good. So I had an appointment today. I had to have another x-ray. I was told that it was a fractured talus bone, right? But then the surgeon was like, I don't think that's it because when I just moved your foot, what should be hurting for that isn't hurting. So then I'm like, oh, okay, what's wrong with it then? So he seems to think that it could possibly be a really bad sprain. Wrong -o. Yeah, I mean, that was the good <laughs> news. So he said it could be that, and that's why we've got all the bruising, and that would just take physio and weight bearing eventually and all that jazz. Then the second thing, I have an osteochondral defect, which is when blood supply and cartilage... I don't know what it is. Blood supply isn't getting to... like you keep getting the pain and if that's the reason for the pain then you might have to have surgery i'm out of here they think that's an old injury we'll get back to you guys once we've got the results from the mri 
today I am going to physio, which I'm actually really excited about because I'm excited to get my foot moving more, which I already am moving it myself more now, which is so exciting. Like finally, I feel like I'm definitely on the mend. I'm seeing the light, I can see it. Every morning I like test my movement. I like try and flex my foot as much as I can. I try and like point it as much as I can. And today I could move it more, which is so exciting. So what is it like day 10 or something? And yep, it's feeling better. So I'm so grateful. We still don't actually know what it is. So I can't like come out of the boot and put all my weight on it yet. Just in case it is a fracture or whatever whatever like we still don't actually know if it is a sprain i can just keep going until i'm confident enough to put more weight on it every day so just taking each day as it comes i'm in a much better mental state now than i was last week as you probably saw in the videos i've got an appointment booked to check the mri and the notes so then we can find out exactly what it is i'll update you guys after that appointment i'm excited to see what the mri Says. Here's my foot a week later. You can still see that it's like bruised. So I've started just moving my foot more like I'll have my foot flat on the ground and I'll lift my heel up and oh my god my muscles have already like all gone which is so crazy that she got such a skinny leg compared to my other ones. It's just so crazy how if you don't use it you lose it. Here I am in the car doing leg reps so that my thigh muscles stay active. Each day I would practice walking trying to put like a little bit more weight on my foot. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey I've also been going in the pool to try and add more movement to my foot as well yeah, 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 yeah. Today I felt a huge improvement I can almost fully stand on two feet with my weight on that foot Which is so exciting, like, I literally almost cried doing it because I was like, I can walk again it was a magical moment. So it felt like I was walking kind of normally, even though I still had the crutches and still was putting weight on the crutches. It felt semi-normal again, like walking. Literally the best feeling ever. In two days, it will be three weeks. This last week, I've seen a lot of improvement, which is so exciting. I've got two appointments on Monday. One is a sports doctor and one is a surgeon. And they're both gonna look at my MRI. Coincidentally, they literally were put on the same day at the same time. And these appointments, like we fought to get like early we're gonna try and go to both. I just didn't want to cancel. I can't cancel that again. During this whole time, my foot would swell and bruise differently like every single day. As you can see, this was one of my more swollen days. It's appointment day. This is the day where I had two appointments literally at the exact same time. They were only 10 minutes away from each other, so we thought we could make it work. The first appointment, he was running so late. But anyway, we're now on the way to our second appointment. Hopefully they accept me, fingers crossed. So in conclusion guys, I'm all good, I'm on the mend. It's so crazy that it all happened, but I've got amazing people around me, really great support. Like I'm so grateful and lucky to have people like Mum, Tegan, and everyone else who has been involved. So thank you so much for looking after me and making sure I'm okay. Tegan has literally been herself and me for the past three and a half weeks. We do everything together and every time I need help or like every time we're working and we need to set up props and like move things, Tegan obviously has to do it so she's literally been me and herself for the past three and a half weeks so thanks to her we could still continue and do work because of all her help so thanks bro <laughs> so much for listening to my story and watching this video and if you're going through something right now I really hope that you stay positive and remember time does heal all and you'll be all better before you know it. 
share this with someone who is in my situation right now. It's been three and a half weeks since this happened. I'm feeling so much better. I can't walk yet by myself, but I'm definitely walking really well with the crutches. So again, it feels more normal and I feel that it's healing. I can't wait for you to be sad again. So I've still got around five weeks until I can like be jumping and like flipping and tumbling again. They said take each day as it comes. In terms of videos, we were lucky enough to be ahead at the time. So we still had videos from when we were in America and from our cruise with the Flow Twins. That worked out really well. And then other videos, like we recently filmed our Christmas gift swap, so this didn't affect that at all. And just with TikToks and stuff like that, we've been able to adapt. We actually have a couple of videos coming up where Sam is still in the moon boot and obviously on crutches because we filmed them a few weeks ago, so if you're confused, that's why yeah. they're still to go live. Comment down below if you've ever had to wear a moon boot or if you've ever been on crutches or tell us when you, you got away. injured. Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope now all your questions are answered. If not, comment them down below and we will answer them. Remember we post every single week, so we'll see you guys next, next week. week. See ya! <laughs>